Hello everyone, welcome to the series of VMware vSphere. Guys, this is an important informative video I am recording for you so that when you will start with the VMware vSphere series, you don't get confused. Why I am saying don't get confused? The reason is we have started with the VMware vSphere version 7. And what happened? We were in the middle of the series and VMware has announced the end of VMware vSphere 7 lab. VMware has discontinued VMware vSphere 7 lab. So in that case, what we have to do is we started with VMware vSphere 8, but there won't be any impact on the series and there won't be any changes because as I keep saying you every time, don't focus on the version of the solution, always focus on the technology. So VMware vSphere is meant for, I can say that it is dedicated for virtualization it will remain dedicated for virtualization in the new version there might be some add-on or some terms and terminology names may change but the concept will remain same always so guys what happened we have started with this series and you can see this all are the videos which i have uploaded this all were on version 7 okay even if you will see like up to video number 12 up to tutorial 12 everything i have done is on version 7 but over here vmware has discontinued version 7 so i have uploaded one video that is this this video i am talking about vmware vsphere had it hands on labs registration so over here i have uploaded this video i have shown you how to register for vmware vsphere 8 lab and now when you will be doing the labs you will be doing directly on v8 not on v7 so let me give you a brief see the first tutorial that is introduction to vmware vSphere. this is basically an introduction to vmware vSphere. it has nothing to do with the version whether it is version 5 6 7 8 or maybe the next version will come this introduction to vmware vSphere will remain same types of virtualization and basics of storage will remain same so up to you can say like vSphere, ESXi, Hypervisor, vCenter, explain, installation and configuration of ESXi. As I have been doing an installation of ESXi from long time and trust me, the installation of the ESXi remains same. It is same in v7 what I have shown, it will remain same in v8 also. So up to tutorial number 4 it is totally a theoretical concept uh, and this is basically very important to build up your foundation so that you can uh, understand the terms and terminologies and you can properly do your lab if you are able to understand these terms and terminologies. So I can say that the first four sessions are the foundation and it is mandatory for you people to review it. Once you are done with this then you will be very much thorough to go ahead with the labs. Then what happened in tutorial number five uh, that it was VMware hands-on lab. Over here I have explained you the registration for the VMware vSphere 7 lab and basics I have done the basics hands-on labs I have performed in tutorial number 5 but now what you are going to do is after completing up to tutorial number 4 you will be registering for VMware vSphere 8 you will be referring this video VMware vSphere 8 hands-on lab registration and then you will move to tutorial number 5 I have done the basics practicals over here on v7 you will be performing on v8 because you have registered for version 8 but remember the interface the web interface the concept the icons everything is as it is it is same there is no change in version 7 interface or version 7 8 interface so i always say don't run behind the version just focus on the concepts then comes vcenter server appliance explain so vcenter server appliance job is to manage the esxi host this will always remain same it is useful for doing multiple jobs that you will learn in the coming tutorials so everything will remain same so again uh, the tutorial number six over here is a foundation for the vCenter that is much more important you have to learn then only you will understand the further things then DNS server deployment this is the add-on topic I have said although I am not supposed to show but I thought that I will just add so that if someone don't know about the DNS server deployment they will learn this has nothing to do with vCenter but it is a prerequisite for vCenter server appliance so I have shown that also I have added the topic DNS server deployment then when on a deployment of vCenter server appliance this I have added as an add-on topic I have shown you how to deploy the vCenter server appliance it was done in my home lab then VMware hands-on lab basic configuration see tutorial number 9 I have done the lab on version 7 
you will be doing a lab on version 8. Again, I say everything remains same. Whatever you have seen in version 7, whatever you will see in the video in version 7, the same thing will be visible to you in version 8 also, the lab which you are going to register. I have shown you the registration of version 8 lab over here. See in this VMware vSphere 8 hands-on lab registration. So you will complete 4, then you will do the hands-on lab registration for version 8 and 5, 6, uh, even 9, 10, 11, 12, up to 12, whatever I have done on version 7, you will be doing on version 8. So see, VMware vSphere license 6 I have shown, I have done on v7, you will do on v8, everything remains same. How to create a virtual machine with hot and enable? Uh, this also will remain same and if in case the same thing I have shown on the 14th lab also to create a virtual machine because I have repeated so that you will get an idea that on version 7 and version 8 everything remains same. Mounting of sorry methods of mounting ISO image to boot VM. The methods of mounting whatever was there in 6 it was there in 7 it is there in 8. So if you learn on version 7 or version 8 it doesn't make any difference. Okay, so once you are done with tutorial number 12, whatever practicals will come up to 12, I have shown on version 7, you will be doing on version 8, everything is same. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the description box and I will reply to your queries as soon as possible. But then what will happen, like 13, 14, 15, like from 13, uh, I can say, you, were, you are having version 8 registration lab and even I have version 8 registration lab which I have uploaded before only so that you don't get confused after completing the first 4 theory lecture directly you will be uh, doing a registration for V8 lab and you will be performing this uh, practicals on V8 I have done on V7 you will perform on V8 then 13 is hot plug of RAM this I have shown on V8 you are also going to do with me in uh, version 8 only hot HDD and hot extent of HDD this lab also you are going to do and 15th registration and register VM. This also you are going to do on V8. I have done on V8. So up to 12, almost of the lectures, like I can say that seven to eight lectures are uh, on theory only. So it doesn't make any sense if you did, uh, you study on V7 or V8, the concepts are same. Three, four lectures are there, which I have done on V7, you will be doing on V8. Then from 13th up to the completion of the series, we all will be in sync. We will be performing this lab on V8. And one more important thing, this particular video i will be uploading on the top so that even the new users who will be subscribing and referring this series will be comfortable and understand what exactly has happened and although this uh, video is recorded after so many videos but i will be putting this video on the top so that before you start the series you are much more enough in the position to understand exactly what has happened and don't get confused between the version and version version 7 and version 8 so that's all guys in this session and Hope you will enjoy this series. Be with me. You, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the description box and I will be replying to your queries as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and see you in the next session.